Last year, the German leisure giant Condor shook the world when they introduced their brand new livery, a move that divided the Afghi world. While some thought that this is one of the greatest marketing moves in the history of aviation, others labeled it as ugly, out of place, or very simple and a very dumb idea. Isn't it stunning? I love it. But that's not enough. Condor also has a new flagship, the brand new Airbus A330-900neo, which makes Lufthansa look like a budget airline. I booked myself on a 9-hour flight to see the good, but also a couple of bad surprises. Can I recommend Condor? Watch the video to find out. So guys, all checked in to fly one of my favorite airlines in Europe on their brand new flagship, the Airbus A330 Neo on this beautiful livery. Isn't it stunning? I love it. You know what I love about Frankfurt Airport? It is the natural inhabitant of the queen of the skies, the 747 Boeing. In this case, the Dash 8, which I flew two years ago to Mexico on 1A. That was a dream I always had since I was a little AF geek and that came through. And next week I'll be flying the 747-400, which is still flying with Lufthansa, on a domestic flight from Frankfurt to Hamburg. So subscribe right now if you don't want to miss out on this one. I was then off to the lounge. Condor doesn't feature its own lounge at Frankfurt Airport at the moment, but as a business class passenger, you are invited to use the Lufthansa Lounge, which offers a great and decent buffet with plenty of choices, including alcoholic beverages and a nice view over the runway. So guys, just made my way to the Lufthansa Business Class Lounge here in Frankfurt because Condor doesn't feature their own lounge as of now. That's what I was told at the check-in counter, but perhaps in the future. Condor is going to open their own lounge here at Frankfurt, which I could imagine would be a very fun place, no? Because Condor is a fun airline, so they perhaps feature a fun lounge, no? <laughs> this is what I love about Condor, right? Condor is trying very hard not to be German, right? They are fun, they are innovative, they're trying something new, they're service-oriented, and I think that makes them stand apart from Lufthansa. I mean, where they are ger very German is in terms of operation, trying to be punctual, trying to be professional. They kind of reinvented that for themselves. They said, oh, you're going to be fun. We're going to be engaging. We're going to make people want to travel with us because we have fun crew, not like Lufthansa, where it's, you know, it's a very stuck up environment, right? It's very elite, um, though it's a world class airline. But when it comes to service with Lufthansa, you either love it or you hate it. Right? So with Condor, all the flights I had always had a brilliant crew, always had a lovely onboard product. It's a very inclusive place. And that's what I love about Condor. And that's why I think it's a, such a fantastic airline. Might change today. <laughs> you never know, but I'm very hopeful that this is going to be a great flight on a new flagship. And delivery. I love delivery. And this is what it stands testament delivery for what Condor is as a company. Let's try something new. Let's be innovative. The whole world was talking about it the moment they, uh, they released it. And uh, yeah, I think um, in the future, and now with this new business class product, that they're going to be a very strong, very strong airline here in Germany. And here's one from the category of tell me you are German without telling me you are German. There is no better soft drink. Trust me on that one. And before we board Condor's new flagship, and I know you're all excited, let me introduce you to today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN, a must-have tool for any traveler and freaking flyer. By using a VPN, you surf the internet safe and anonymously, especially when using public Wi-Fi. And you get around censorship all around the world. Whether you want to use Instagram in China, use WhatsApp calls in Dubai, or consume TikTok in India or watch adult movies in the Middle East. And it also works on all your devices, but let me show you my favorite pack. 
Finding cheaper flight deals by changing my IP address to a low income country, saving me plenty of dollars every year. But also, as a huge sport fan, I can watch my favorite football team from all around the world or access different libraries on Netflix by using Surfshark VPN. So, and by using the link in the description box below or using the code Josh Cahill, you will get three additional months for free, which is an absolute great offer. So go check it out. And now let's go back to the review. And this is our plane today, the Airbus A330 900 Neo, which is going to be the new backbone of their long haul operation, replacing the aging Boeing 767. The airline ordered 18 of them. And by the time of my flight, Condor already had five in operation. And here we are, welcome on board Condor's brand new business class featuring 30 seats in a 1 2 1 staggered configuration. Unlike the German flag carrier Lufthansa, each seat features direct aisle access. The cabin pretty much matches the outside of the plane with stripes all over the cabin. Personally, I love it, and the first impression was great. So, guys, and here we are, welcome on board the Airbus 8030. 900 Neo, the new flagship of Condor. It's probably 150 couples going for the honeymoon and myself. Probably not meeting the love of my life on this flight. But uh, yeah, first impression, it's pretty slick. It's a really nice seat. A lot of massive improvement to what they had on the 767. And uh, very much looking forward to see what Condor has to offer on the next nine hours. But let me also give you a quick little seat tour. Most important, make sure you pick an even numbered seat for increased privacy. 2, 4, 6 and 8 on either side. Each seat comes with a personal entertainment screen, USB-C and standard USB slots as well as a power outlet. You also find plenty of storage space and your seat controls next to you. The table is kept right in front of you and can be released by simply hitting the button. A pair of slippers, an amenity kit and noise cancelling headphones were ready at my seats as well. The in-flight entertainment offers plenty of movies, enough to get you comfortably to a 10 hour flight. The pictures appear nice and crisp and overall the seat is pretty amazing. It was then time for the safety video and to buckle up for an on-time departure to the Maldives. And while we head to the runway, perhaps now is a good time to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. You can also check out my Patreon page for some cool extra perks such as access to my WhatsApp group, a Cahill keyring or early access to my videos. Now lean back and enjoy the takeoff out of Frankfurt. So 20 minutes into the flight and um, it's a very interesting crowd here on this flight today because Condor is a leisure airline which means uh, they fly to a lot of uh, holiday destinations all around the world such as the Maldives, Thailand, South America um, and they don't have frequent flyers in a traditional sense. So most of the people who are on this flight they fly once a year, they go on a holiday and they don't purposely really book themselves in business class um, such as on this flight so uh, this morning when I checked the seat map there were like probably five passengers booked and then uh, what Condor does very heavily is they try to upsell they think oh it's at one time of the year they say for holiday let's try to get them with some upgrade offers in an email inbox if that doesn't work they're gonna try it up on check-in uh, where they have some really good offers and uh, the last resort is at the gates where they once again promoted um, upgrades to premium economy as well as business stars so which also means it's a very different crowd on this flight so everybody who is here in business class they're very eager to experience the product so most likely everybody's going to eat so be prepared that your choice of meal might not be available and uh, people are very loud people are very chatty there's kids in the cabin so yeah if you compare that to Lufthansa for example or any legacy airline where there's a lot of frequent flyers redeeming miles most of them half of the cabin won't even eat they go straight to sleep uh, they really try to maximize their resting time while here the passenger is really trying to indulge in the product 
So, um, yeah, that's the difference between a leisure airline or the passengers on a leisure airline or uh, compare it to uh, a legacy airline such as Lufthansa, Cafe Pacific, British Airways. Um, yeah, so get prepared for that. After takeoff, the crew would hand out hot towels and I would get my branded slippers on. Let's also have a quick look at the amenity kit, which features lip balm, facial moisturizer, a toothbrush and toothpaste, eye shades, as well as a pair of ugly socks. If you have the desire to connect to the outside world, you can also connect to the onboard Wi-Fi for 10 free minutes. If you need more than that, you can purchase different plans for some reasonable prices. Also, earplugs are available upon request. If you're on your way to paradise, most likely on your yearly vacation or honeymoon, you want to have a couple of drinks on your way there. And to my surprise, Condor does feature a nice wine list. Also, liquor and beer are available as well. I was served a glass of wine as well as nuts, and I decided to watch Argo, a brilliant movie, since it took forever for the starter to reach my seat. I was served a traditional German cold platter with a good German pretzel. And then I was on to the main course. So here we go, finally I have a hot meal sitting in front of me. And let me give you a bit of a service review. While I think the crew is very kind, very chatty, very engaging, and very well trained, they do appear a bit disorganized at times. It took two and a half hours to receive a hot meal. It took 45 minutes from starter to the main, which is not ideal, right? What is the reason? Who's to blame for it? Well, the new plane, obviously, they're getting used to that new uh, Neo. It's a different working experience, especially on the long haul flights where they just used the 767. And as I said, every passenger in this business class cabin ordered a meal. They're all indulging in that experience because for most passengers on this flight, it's a one of a lifetime experience. So they want to make sure that they get what they paid for, right? So obviously they have to heat a lot of more meals. They have to serve a lot of me more meals. So all of this takes a lot more time. Overall, though, considering that this is a leisure airline, um, it's a fantastic product, amazing seat, fantastic crew. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, there are little things here and there. That's a flight review, right? We dig deep, we go into the details, and that is my impression so far. So in the future, it would be nicer if their concept is a bit enhanced and they're working out how can we serve all those passengers a little quicker how can we reduce waiting times in between courses? I think this is what uh, Condor eventually has to work on. Now we're gonna see and try the fish. There was fish, there was wheel, and there was knockies. So I decided to go for the fish, which comes with a side of um, mashed potatoes. So um, yeah, let's see what it tastes like. I think the fish is a little dry um, and a bit of weak in flavors. So is the mashed potato. Though the mashed potato is very nice in consistency, it is um, lacking a bit of flavor as well, interestingly. Um, but I think I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. That might be a lot better. But the fish, a little bit on the dry side. However, still an excellent meal in uh, terms of portion, but yeah, my feedback on the main. Once I finished my meal, I decided to go flat and that's when I found a bit of a nasty surprise. Someone's breakfast was still in between the seat and given the plane was on ground all day, this shouldn't be happening. 
When I pointed it out to the crew, they said that most cleaners called in sick because it was Ramadan at this time and they don't like to fast and work at the same time, resulting in a shortage of staff. It kind of reminded me of my time in the Middle East during the holy month when pretty much nobody does anything. Welcome to a multicultural society which brings some new and interesting challenges. However, the crew went beyond to clean it and made sure I have a comfortable rest. So and here we go, this is the flatbed experience on the NEO. Quite of an improvement if you compare it to the 767 uh, which had an angled flatbed. Uh, love the bedding, it's comfortable, it's nice, the pillow is great, uh, the pillow is great. Uh, the only downside, I feel it's a little bit exposed as you can see. So it's lacking a bit of privacy. Uh, considering that those staggered seats usually have a bit of a divider reaching into uh, yeah, your space, so you're a bit more protected. Um, but other than that, considering it's a leisure airline and considering what I paid, considering what the Condor stands for, this is a, an amazing product, right? Um, that being said, it is literally uh, a good three hours into the flight so i will get maximum four hours of sleep and then they're gonna wake me up for breakfast service as well so as i said the service is quite slow and yet they still haven't served dessert i wasn't in the mood for dessert i want to like sleep a little bit because i'm quite tired but yeah this is where condor can improve a little bit service can be a lot quicker so you can maximize your resting time you can actually take advantage of this flat bed um, yeah that being said I'm gonna have a little nap now and then uh, I will see you guys for breakfast and of course a loo review and then uh, we're already in the Maldives All right, this is it for now So guys, beautiful good morning, slept pretty well, now it's time for breakfast. We have scrambled eggs, a hash brown, cold platter, a muffin, fruit salad, as well as a croissant, coffee, fresh orange juice, and presentation, it looks beautiful. Let's see what it tastes like. And of course, this video wouldn't be complete without a new review. Beautiful wallpaper here, striped as you know it from the cabin or well, from the entire airline by now. Um, a few amenities here, as you can see, and uh, just looks like any other loo, to be honest. Clean though, crew's looking after it. Um, had a very lovely breakfast, uh, it's pretty good. And a boil deck. See, they went out of their way to serve me a boil deck. I've never had a boil deck on any airline so that was really nice and I think this is um, something I really like about Condor and I always liked is the crew they're fantastic very hard-working well-trained very kind um, so that stood out for me on this flight so we're touching down in 40 minutes and uh, take you guys with me through the arrival experience and unfortunately I'm not staying in the Maldives I'm continuing to uh, Sri Lanka on Emirates a little later but I'm gonna give you a full summary of what I think and whether you should spend your money on condo air business class or not by the end of the video
Danke. Ciao. Ciao. Until the new terminal is opening in 2025, all flights are still disembarking by stairs and straight onto the bus, which usually gives you a nice view of the plane before you head to the terminal. So, and here I am at the lounge in transit, uh, flying to Colombo in like two hours on Emirates. But to summarize my flight on Condor, I love the new plane, great new seat, amazing crew, decent catering, and overall, for the price I paid especially, it was a sensational product, really, really good, very happy with it. So, Obviously, the service was a bit slow at times, but I explained it to you why this is the case, and it's most likely happening on most of their flights. But I can still strongly recommend Condor, and uh, yeah, had a fantastic experience once again. And uh, yeah, this is it. Um, let me know in the comment section below what you think of Condor, and what's your favorite leisure airline let me know also if you want to join my whatsapp group have early access to my videos get the Cahill hearing which looks pretty good on your on your back um feel free to join my patreon check out the link in the description box below and this should be it that was little tour initially started with Sri Lankan airlines then i flew air china Turkmenistan airlines which was the absolute highlight and now condor now I'm gonna go home to Colombo for a couple of days and then I'm gonna go on a nice summer summer tour uh, trying a few more airlines such as uh, Mongolia Air, um, Air Kalim from New Caledonia, Qantas, I'm going to Australia finally. Uh, yeah, so a few gems uh, coming your way so it's really worth subscribing right now. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching, and wherever you're off to, have a safe trip.